In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to slice a cone such that I can derive the formula for the volume of a cylinder. All right, let's get started. So I've already stated or shown in this diagram that uh, the height is h and that the radius, the base radius, I should say, is r. What I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly slice it at, say, this height. Okay, so I get this tiny, tiny little uh, cylinder, right? So like a coin shaped thing. And okay, so you need to you need to remember the equation of a cylinder. So the volume of the cylinder. So a small volume in this case is equal to pi. It's going to be the radius squared times the height. Now the radius I'm going to I'm, I'm going to state it. It's going to be a variable. So let me call it x. And it's from a height from the top of y. Okay, so from this point, it's at a it's at a distance of y from the from the top. So it's going to be pi x squared delta y. Okay, so I'm I'm telling what I'm saying is that this thickness over here is delta y. All right, so that's why what I meant by a coin shaped cylinder. This is a tiny little disc that I'm taking. So to find the volume, all I need to all I really need to do is add up each individual. Uh, volume. So I'm I'm seeing the subscript because if I take the if I take the disk over here, the volume is different, right? So you can see it's slightly bigger. So I basically I need to sum up these volumes. Or in other words, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to integrate. So uh, just stating that volume is equal to the integral of pi. So I'll take the constant outside x squared dy. Now what what are the limits of this integration? So it's going to be from zero, which is the top right here, all the way up to h. So zero to h. But the thing is, I can't integrate this straight away. Um, x is not related to y directly, so I need to change x's into y's. And how do you do that? Well, we're going to consider we're going to consider the um, the triangle, so similar triangles. So if you look at this little bit, sh hopefully you should be able to see similar triangle so let me draw it out separately so when I do that and then so x is somewhere over here okay so y is this distance and h so the height of this triangle is h and the radius down here is r okay so the reason that they're um, similar is because remember these two are parallel okay so that, that should be enough proof for you to say it's um, similar so from here, I can say h divided by r is equal to y divided by x. From here, x is equal to ry on h. And this is what I'm going to substitute back into my integral equation. So this will be equal to pi. Um, so x squared is going to be r squared y squared on h squared. Okay, so I need to integrate this from C to H dy. So this will be equal to, uh, so taking the constants outside, so R squared pi, and then H squared at the bottom, this will be Y cubed on 3, 0 to H. Okay, so when I zero, the zero case disappears. When I substitute H, H into here, so I'll get H cubed. So uh, remember the h cubed will cancel out with this guy over here, so I will only end up with 1h and then all on 3. So, or in other words, pi r squared h on 3, which is the usual equation that you get. Okay, so it's simply a third of the volume of a cylinder. So I hope that was fairly straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. But thanks for watching.